Hey guys, so my new book today is Elma. There was once a herd of elephants, all happy and all the same colour. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was not elephant colour. I wonder what happens to Elma. Let's find out. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and thin and fat. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different, but all happy and all the same colour. All that is, except Elma. So we can see some little elephants and some big elephants and some thin elephants and some fat elephants. But I can't see Elma or can I? Oh, here's Elma. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow and orange and red and pink. And purple and blue and green and black and white. Elma was not elephant colour. Can you see all the different colours on Elma? It was Elma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elma who started it. Look, there's Elma. They all look very happy. One night, Elma couldn't sleep for thinking. And the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? He thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elma slipped quietly away, unnoticed. You see, they're all sleeping. And Elma sneaking quietly away. I don't think any of them noticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, good morning. I see lots of different animals. Can you name them all? So Elmer has seen lots of people on his travels. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush, a large bush covered with berries, a large bush coloured with elephant coloured berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so the berries fell on the ground. What do you think Elmer's using to shake the bush? That's right, Elmer's using his trunk. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. Can you see how Elmer's starting to change colour? And what do you look like on the next page?
Oh, Elmer looks quite different. After that, Elmer set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time, Elmer smiled and said, Good morning. Pleased that he wasn't recognised. So none of those animals recognised Elmer. Oh, looks like he's back with the herd. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as they as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. So he's made himself look all the way to the middle. No one has noticed him. I wonder why they stood like that. I wonder what those elephants are thinking. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But, but what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. Same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. just didn't know what was wrong. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Well, finally he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice, he shouted. Well, you can see, look, there he is, lifting his trunk. At the top of his voice, he shouted. Boo! Can you see how the faces of the other elephants suddenly look a little bit more startled? Mm. The elephants jumped and fell all ways in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said, and then saw Elmer, helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said, it must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. Look at all these elephants. They look really happy. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephants still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped the old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. So can you see the rain has washed all the berry juice off Elmer and now we can see his true colours. So that is exactly what happened. One day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know it must be Elmer. Look at these amazing colours. And that is the story of Elmer.